Hi Judy, I'm John from Film Speak. I just want to say your performance and smile was equally wonderful and disturbing. Thank you, thank you, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, I personally remember you and many others in Scrubs and in Devious Maids. Um, what was it like to make that jump from cable television to a horror production, especially under kind of like Paramount, uh, like under a Paramount studio? I mean, I was in a, a very supportive environment with this film. You know, uh, it was one day work, two big scenes, and a lot of excitement, a lot of passion for the project. So I felt extremely in included. I thought it was a super opportunity to get kind of back to my theater roots, to have a, a substantial amount to only build a background for this character, which is uh, harder than it looks, particularly when you're doing a film uh, mm. of this genre. Uh, so talk me through uh, Parker's direction, if you can, for your characters. It seems to play like such a noticeable departure from previous characters that you've that you've played in the past. Parker, because he's the writer as well as the director, he's uh, 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 intimately familiar with what he wants. But I had a substantial amount of time to uh, at least prepare emotionally. Mm. So by the time we got to our scenes, um, and we had conversations before we actually even ran the scene. I was already uh, at a certain place that right. was useful to him as a director. And um, it was fortunate. Uh, we were kind of like uh, kindred spirits, if you will. And his job became to shape uh, the directions, to shape it into what he needed to see in terms of where we were in the story. So right. it's always fun for me if I'm there, it's like, okay, try this, do this. Can we do that? Right. Um, and it was like, I'm on it. I'm on it. That's the fun part. And that's yeah. so those are the theatrical roots that I was referring to earlier. Right. And having worked so much, I think you feel a little bit safer and, and challenged also. Of course, you know, of course. Right. And uh, to feel again in a, an environment where uh, the director is the writer and he's so familiar and so excited, so full of enthusiasm hmm. uh, is a, a, a safe place to work. Yeah, I think for the horror genre specifically, I think it's very... Um, I think it's very important to have an actor be able to uh, mold into different characters as they please just through sheer performance. I think you just do that very well in this film, uh, especially with someone who's dealt with so much as a, from a character's perspective. Thank you. Um, I you know, uh, Sosie Bacon uh, does uh, a monumental performance, you know, particularly when you, every, whenever you see uh, a horror film, you really don't realize what it takes, like a mental emotionally to live there for an entire shoot uh, and she just does a, such a powerful performance it's great oh, to I completely agree uh so what made you want to jump on this project was it the script was it just being able to be in the film landscape and instead of television I think both you know I had this uh lovely offer from uh, Parker Finn and his people and then and then I saw it and I was like I've never done a horror film this is so cool and then I read it and uh, because again, it, it, as uh, I guess, as compact as it is, it's mm. uh, two scenes full of opportunity and it's in a great part in the story. Right. And it, you know, uh, this person, you can't know about this person without knowing that she was married to the first guy and this tells uh, where it's gonna go and it, it builds it up, it sets it up for you. I mean, my confession is, you know, I am not a horror film fan because I'm pretty traumatized from it as a kid. My <laughs> sister always wanted me to go see films and they'd lie to me about what <laughs> film to see. And then I wouldn't be able to sleep for a month. I remember my very first horror film was Carrie with Sissy Spacek. Oh, perfect movie possible to i mean that is the best because it scared the shit out oh, of me absolutely so i'd be like afraid to go to the movies with them so uh, i've just been i think train uh, trained myself to avoid the genre i right. saw it out and i saw uh, like the quiet place those are real like mm. I, I, what i appreciate is that they're becoming more psychological dramas right. as well as the horror or like the the story within the story that all these horror films are always telling yeah. and i just finish a, a horror film myself, which is a modern day adaptation of Frankenstein with two women. Oh, wow. Perfect. Well, birth, rebirth. And I'm very excited about it. When I read it, I didn't know it was a horror film. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, and that's uh, I think that's what's exciting about uh, the, the horror film right now mm. you know, that uh, it's you, you don't really know 
but do you know? And when they pull it off the way I'm so proud that Smile did, hmm. it's, it's really, um, they're setting the bar up here. I think from what, from what makes Smile such a great film, especially for right now, is that we live in a very self-serious uh, in terms of where horror is taking. You said, you talk about, you know, how the, how it's all taken psychologically. Um, I feel like with Smile, yes, it is a self-serious uh, horror movie about, uh, you know, mental health and how that can affect people, but it also is not afraid of just being fun, not afraid of being campy, just like the kind of, we're going back to genre roots. So I think that's just very exciting. That's why I really, that's really exactly love it. Right. And I, I got an opportunity to, to share a, a screening of the film with a, a handful of friends. Um, and because as I said, I'm not an, I'm a horror film fan, I had nothing to compare it to, but I was some scares and some were so fun and so surprising that they caught me so off guard that I would start laughing my ass off after that. Right. And I'm looking at the room around the room and everybody's laughing. And that's the fun part. So I really do agree with you.